the PVA bag rig, the perfect rig for heavy weed, heavy silt, and pretty much everywhere you can't put any other rig, you can put this rig. The PVA dissolves, leaving you with some freebies around your hook bait and a perfectly presented bait every time. What you need, a hair stop, two fake maize, a gardener's size six wide gape convert dark talent tip hook, two dabs of tungsten putty, gardener 25 pound trickster heavy braid in camo brown, a small ring, a two ounce inline lead, an anti-tangle sleeve, gardener 45 pound muddy silt cam flex lead free. The first step, take your gardener trickster heavy camo brown 25 pound braid. Pull off 25 centimeters of that and cut it. Then make a loop and tie a granny loop knot. Make sure the loop is just big enough for two pieces of fake maize to fit on it. Using your gardener puller tool, tighten the knot so it won't slip. Cut off the tail end. Take your two fake maize and thread it onto your boiling needle. Now thread your fake maize onto your braid. Make sure to leave a loop for your hair stop. Grab your hair stop, put it in the loop, and then pull your fake maze down so that your hair stop stops your maze from coming off. Grab your gardener size 6 wide gape and thread your braid through the eye from the back of the hook to the front of the hook. This is very important. Pull your line through and then create the length of your hair. With this rig I like to keep a short hair. Now tie your knotless knot. After doing your loops, make sure to thread your braid through the eye from the back of the hook to the front of the hook. This is very important because if it's done the other way around, you're less likely to catch fish. Once you've tied your knotless knot, go to the other end of the braid and tie a figure of eight loop knot, this time making the loop quite big. Cut the tail end. Then grab your tungsten putty Make two blobs and put them onto your hook link. This will keep your hook link from floating and will make sure the fish don't know there is a hook link there. Your hook link is now done. Grab your Camflex 45 pound lead free. Pull off between a meter and a meter and a half. Depends on what you prefer. Get your ring and tie your lead free to it with a four turn grinner knot. Next step, get your anti-tangle sleeve and slide it onto your boiling needle. Slide your anti-tangle sleeve onto your lead free. Push your anti-tangle sleeve all the way down and slide it over the knot. Then on the other end of the lead free, splice your lead free. This might be finicky in the beginning, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. If you want some extra security, tie a knot in the tag end of your lead free. This will jam your lead free and make sure that your splice does not slip. But a side note is make sure that knot is small so that your lead can slide off of it if you cut off and then your fish is stuck with the lead free. You don't want to make that knot too big and then it will block the lead from sliding off. This is why I tied the knot now and then will slide on the lead so that I know that the lead can slide on and off if the fish gets snagged. The next step, get your inline lead and slide it onto your lead free. Slide it all the way down and push it tight onto your knot. Then grab your hook link, slide your figure of eight loop knot through the ring, open it up, then slip your hook bait through your figure of eight loop and pull it down. Your PVA bag rig is now complete.